Mattis AI just released a brand new update that makes this one of the best AI agents that exists right now. You simply type in a prompt, you tell it what to do, it goes off and automates your work so that you can spend time doing other things. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to use it and seven insane use cases that are going to blow your mind. In fact, I think your life is going to be drastically different after watching this video. Okay, so when it comes to actually using Mattis AI, it is actually incredibly simple. In fact, I'm pretty surprised at how simple this actually is. So. All you literally do is come over here, you type in a prompt, and it goes off and it does a bunch of things. But of course, like all other tools, there are a bunch of different features here. So right here, you're gonna be able to see how many credits you currently have right here. In addition to that, if you come over here, you're gonna be able to see the reasoning effort. So Manus can either achieve high intelligence through scaling inference time compute, allowing you to select the most appropriate mode based on a complex task. What does that mean? They have standard, they have high effort. You can only use high effort if you pay for Manus Pro, and you can use standard if you're on the free plan like I'm on as I'm showing you this right now. In addition to that, if you click right here, you could upload local files to this, or you can now upload files from your Google Drive, and you can literally just tell it, hey, this is the name of the file, and it can go ahead and do that. In addition to that, if you scroll down here, you will see a bunch of different use cases. You'll be able to view the space, aka the thing that it created, or if you click into this, you will also be able to see the prompt that it uses. And you could click this right here, it will refresh what's recommended, or you could come under these, and it will show you things based on a bunch of different use cases. In addition to that, if you click right here, this is knowledge. Essentially, you can train Manus on up to 20 different entries. You could add in a bunch of different stuff here. You could add in the name, you could add in when it should use this knowledge, and you will add in the actual content of that knowledge. And what this is going to do is give it more useful information about when it should actually do things and when it should have the knowledge to do things. In addition to that, if we click over here, you come into settings. In here, you can manage your account, you can see where you're actually using things and you can also come in right here to connect the apps and connect your Google Drive. Now for use case number one, I wanted to show off something for you that I did just a week ago. Now this is a real use case of how Manus can literally automate my work and you could get it to do the same exact thing for you. So those of you that don't know, I have another YouTube channel that shows people how to grow on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. As a result of that, I sell consulting. I am not trying to sell you on anything. I'm literally just giving you some backstory so you know what's going on here. This is one of my clients right here. And what I said to this was, I need you to be an expert at helping people grow on TikTok. Can you please create a check-in to send to this person for how she can better grow on TikTok? This is a real use case. ChatGPT, can't do this. Gemini, can't do this. Claude, can't do this. Grok, can't do this because they're not smart enough to do this. But check out what Manus is actually able to do. It says, I'll help create you a check-in message for this account with growth recommendations. I'll first examine their TikTok profile to understand their content, their audience, current strategy, then craft a personalized growth suggestion based on TikTok's best practices. So it goes through and it accesses their account. It analyzes their content and engagement. It does research on TikTok's latest growth strategies, which by the way, I could have put in here as knowledge if I wanted it to have that knowledge. It went through and identified opportunities for improvement. It created personalized growth recommendations. It drafted a check-in message. It reviewed it, and it could have sent the message to the user if I wanted it to. Instead though, I had it just put this into a bunch of different files here. So as you can see, we have documents that created, we have code files that created, and we have links. And these are all the different things that you could actually get as an output from Manus. So if we click right here, growth check-in, literally it knew that her name was Sabrina. I didn't tell it her name was Sabrina, but it was able to figure that out from her profile. This is how smart this thing actually is. I hope this message finds you well. I've been following your feng shui content, wanted to reach out with some observations, growth opportunities I've noticed for your account. It goes through, and this literally wrote out an entire email that I can send to her. This is crazy, because guess what? I have a bunch of different clients. I could have this go through and do this for all those different clients and email them these things, and I can literally just feed it the knowledge the same way that I would feed a human the knowledge, and guess what? This is a real task of this actually checking things somewhere else on the internet, being able to draft a response based on that, and I could train it based on my knowledge in order to have this 
automate my work. Now, use case number two is you could get Manus to literally clone websites for you. All I said to it was, can you please clone this website? I gave it the link and then it said, great, I'm gonna help you clone this website. Let me first access it to understand its structure and then I'll create a local copy for you. This may take some time depending on how complex the website is. So it is going through, it's accessing it. It's analyzing the structure. It's continuing to analyze the structure. And then it started to actually create it. So it said, I've started working on this. And this is literally sending you updates the same way that an employee would send me updates. So it's going through, it's actually going through and building out all these different things. Now it needs to proceed with downloading all the necessary stuff. And if I wanted to, I can click on this right here and I could see exactly what is happening on Manus's computer. And what we could see here is that it's actually looking here and then it's going back and forth, coming to the code, coming to all the different things that it needs to do. And you could see right here, all of the different tasks that are in progress. Now we're gonna let this continue to go ahead and do this. And we're gonna get started on use case number three, and then we'll come back to this one. So I show you what it actually does when it's done. Now for use case number three, we're going to do another real life example. So we're saying to Manus, I would like you to give me an in-depth course on how to practically use Manus AI for automating your work. I want you to focus on real world use cases and tools that are being deployed in the real world by early adopters and focus on real problems that content creators face. Instead of content creators, I am just going to put that anyone might face. The course should be to the point, but in-depth enough for more complex parts for beginners to understand, include examples, images, quizzes to ensure my comprehension. Start with the outline that we could feed into the next Manus chat so that we don't go over any context windows. So that we don't go over any context windows. Now, if I try to do this right here, you'll see that I cannot do this without upgrading right now because I have this other one running right here. If you want to be able to run two different tasks at one time, you need to be using Manus Pro and can't be using the free version. So I'm gonna upgrade for the sake of this video and then We'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've gone through now, I have upgraded. We are going to retype in this prompt. You can see that it gave me more credits here and I'm gonna click right here and we're going to get this started because now we could have two context windows going at the same time. So we could check in over here and we could see that this is now actually being coded out and this is almost done. We're on task four out of six here. So this is actually going to test the functionality of this once it's done and you could see how long it has been working on each test. Now, if we come over here, we could see okay, I'm going to help you create an in-depth course. I'm practically using Manus AI for work automation. I'll focus on real world use cases, tools being deployed by early adopters and solutions to common problems. The course will include examples, images, quizzes to ensure comprehension. Let me start by creating a comprehensive outline. So this is going through, this is actually creating this. Again, if we wanna check in right here, we could see all the different tasks that this is going to go ahead and do. And this is a game changer because now I've got multiple things going on at once and there are still so many other insane use cases that are gonna blow your mind. Now, before I get back into those crazy use cases, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this almost every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. In addition to that, if you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, you should go to the pinned comment below and check out AI Automation School. I just launched it and I'm gonna be increasing the price next week. So I'd strongly suggest that you go below and check it out if you're interested in automating your work or making money with AI. So here's what Manus actually gave us on the website colon. If we come down here, we can see that it created a complete HTML structure, all CSS style sheets, JavaScript files for functionality, and all images from the original site. And if we click right here, we'll be able to see that it actually created a website right here, gave us a zip file, and it gave us a bunch of other different code files, different documents, and things along the lines of that, links right here, which will allow us to clone this website. And if for any reason the website doesn't look right, guess what? You just tell it, hey, can you change this or can you change that? And it will go through and actually make these changes. Again, still way faster than going back and forth with the developer. Now, if we come over here and check on use case number three, we could see that this is almost done. It's on four out of seven right here of actually creating the course outline and then the course material. And as it's doing that, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to give this a new task. I'm saying, I have $250,000. I wanna know where I should invest it in order to turn it into $500,000 as efficiently as possible. I'm looking at Tesla stock, Nvidia stock, Meta stock. Let me know which one of these is best and why. So. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give it this task and let's see how quickly it actually does this and how good of research it actually goes through and does here. 
Now, if we check on this here, we could actually go through the plan that it's going through. So it's analyzing the investment goal, it's researching all the different stocks, it's comparing all the different financial metrics, it's working on analyzing the growth potential, it's going to evaluate the market risk associated with each of them, and then it's actually going to create an investment recommendation based on the analysis and then it's going to present it to me. Now, if I come over here, I can see it actually doing each one of these things once I minimize this a little bit. So we can see that it analyzed, it's going through and researching, it's comparing, it's analyzing the growth potential, and we could see all the different things that it's doing here in the terminal. Okay, this has actually done pretty quickly of this going through and actually analyzing all these different stocks here. And one thing that I love about Manus is I've literally gotten this a few times now, so I just rate this, I don't say anything, and it keeps giving me 100 credits almost every single time that I use it. Now, if we check in on the course stuff right here, you can see that this is still going through and doing this. This has been doing this for quite a long period of time now. I think it's like 10 minutes that this has been running. So again, I just wanna to be totally honest. If you have it do some pretty complex tasks like this, it is going to take it a long period of time, but this would have taken me hours to do. So if it even takes this 20 minutes to do it while I'm doing the other things, it's saving me a ton of time. So if we come over here, we could see all the different files that it actually created here. We can see it has it to do, it has investment recommendation, market risk, growth potential analysis, research, and a bunch of Python scripts here. So if we click on this investment analysis, it says after a comprehensive analysis, this is what it recommends. Let's come down here, investment recommendation. It recommends that I put the money in NVIDIA. It recommends it for a few different reasons. Superior historical growth, AI market dominance, strong projected growth, moderate volatility, fair valuation, analysis consensus, and then risk mitigation considerations here. And it gives me a bunch of different things here. It thinks that NVIDIA could double in two to three years, assuming continued strength in AI market demand and successful navigation of regulatory challenges. So I might wanna go through and ask this a bunch of follow-up questions, or in a new window, I might wanna ask it to dispute this and tell me why, and I wouldn't take this. It's just blank investment advice, but this is gonna help you do a bunch of research here. Now, the next use case that I wanna show you while we're still waiting for this course to get done is I wanted to show you how you could actually use this to improve SEO on your website. For example, let's come over to this website right here, bl101.com. I am going to copy this right here. We're going to come into Manus and I'm gonna say, I need you to be an expert at SEO. Please analyze this website and offer SEO recommendations. So we're going to give it this website. Now this is going to go through, and this is going to analyze this website and it is going to give us a bunch of different SEO recommendations. While it's doing that, I wanted to actually go through and if we come over here into account right here, we could come over here click on these credits and we could see how many credits each one of these things has actually been taking. So if we come over to the, the TikTok one, it was 200 credits. Cloning a website was 200 credits. Doing this investment stuff was 150 credits. Uh, SEO recommendations, this is currently at nine credits. Practical course on using Manus AI, this is at 300 credits right here. And what you're gonna notice is that things that take the longest period of time take the most credits. No surprise, but again, if this is saving you time, if this is saving your employees time, then what you're doing is trading credits for time, and I would make that trade any day of the week. Okay, so now this coursework is actually done. We could see over here that this went through and built me out this amazing course. I mean, this is this is actually really, really in depth. This goes through, it gives me module one, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, goes through module two, breaks all of this out, goes through, and it has seven different modules, which is actually pretty cool. Now, what we could do is take all of this, throw it in a different managed chat and tell it to actually build out all of the different details of this course. If we come over here, we will also see that now this is done with all of the SEO analysis for BL101. And if we come over here, we click into this text, we'll be able to see all the analysis that it did. So it has some critical technical SEO issues. It has an enhanced keyword strategy. 
it has improved content strategy, optimized user experience, and then it has a bunch of other lower level things. And it even gave us a timeline of when we should do all these things, when we should fix all these things, and how we could actually measure success. Now from here, I have one other use case that I want to show you, and I think that this one is going to be pretty cool. So what we are going to do for this is I'm going to give it this prompt right here. Please go into my Google Drive and access the following. And then I actually downloaded the investment advice that we got from this one right here. I give it access to the file. It says it contains a bunch of investment analysis for how I could turn $250,000 into 500K and recommends which stock of three that I purchased. Please give feedback on their findings and make the use case against what it found. I need you to be honest and rational. So this is now going to go through. It is going to access my Google Drive. It is going to access the past research that it did, and it is going to give me feedback on this. Now, again, you could have this do an unlimited number of use cases since it has access to your Google Drives. So it says, I noticed you give me access. Unfortunately, I don't have direct access to analyze this investment report. So now this is saying to me that it actually doesn't have access to my Google Drive. So me doing this wasn't the correct way to do this. Instead, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on these drives and now I'm going to be able to actually give it access from here. So if I now type in best investment right here, I click on this, I will be able to upload it. I'm gonna say here it is, and then it will actually be able to access this from my drive. So I couldn't just give it the file name right here. I had to actually click on that and then give it this, but it makes it way easier that it's actually connected to my drive like that. Okay, now as we can see here, this is done with this feedback. It actually goes through and evaluates the recommendation. It goes through all of this. It gives me the supporting argument. It gives me the counter argument. It gives me different alternatives, different advantages, different risks associated with those. And then it gives me alternative strategies to consider and a conclusion down here. So this went through and now critiqued the other advice that I got from it in a different chat. And this is one of the ways that I would use this, not just AI is God, but instead, how can I get AI to help me think through all of these different cases. Now, like I was sharing with you earlier, if you want personalized feedback on what AI tools you should be using, you want to learn how to automate your work, you want to make more money with AI, well, please go to the pin comment below, check out AI Automation School. I think you're going to love it. In addition to that, if you haven't heard yet, ChatGPT just launched a bunch of new models and these new use cases that it brings up are going to change your life. If you haven't heard about it yet, check out this video right here that walks you through those three new models, a bunch of other hidden changes, and a bunch of use cases that you can now use this for. I'll see you over there.